All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me again here on this channel. Uh, welcome back. My name is Bobby, and um, this time around, I just want to share, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of my backstory, how I, you know, uh, starting the YouTube channel, like how I came about this idea of starting a YouTube channel. Um, so, um, I mean, before we reach to that, I just want to uh, retract back to my past. Uh, I think it was back in 2022 or something like that. Uh, when COVID hits, I think it's it's really bad for my mental health. Also, I feel like I'm kind of spiraling into this kind of depression. You know, I don't really take care of myself. Uh, I was eating wrong and all that. Uh, I have a lot of like really bad habits. Uh, I don't hit the gym anymore. And also uh, my daughter just was just born. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time taking care of her, taking care of my wife, Lauren. Uh, so I don't really have too much time to work on myself and when the COVID hits uh, obviously we, we lose touch with a lot of our friends a lot of our families and things like that so it gets really difficult for me uh, all I do is just work and work and work and work and I was uh, burned out easily uh, I was overworked I was overworked and it was uh, it's not the first time I, I experienced burnout but this time it was really difficult for me it was really hard and uh, you know by uh, I wasn't feeling happy for myself I was feeling really really bad for myself and I just don't want to do anything so I was procrastinating I don't really get out from the bed like all I do is just sleep all day uh, all I do is just eat watching Netflix watching movies things like that and I, I feel bad because you know inside of you you're doing something wrong you know it's not like uh, your body your mind will know and your heart will tell you if you're doing something wrong and there's some sort of feeling inside of you that that says you got to change this you got to change your life otherwise life will eat you alive otherwise your bad habit will eat your life so I mean starting last year uh, we also have uh, I mean what the thing that prompts me into becoming a YouTuber is to find another career, another set of career. Because last time we was we were hit with uh, the writer strike in Hollywood, and the writer strike in Hollywood is really bad because it affecting a lot of our job here in in Canada, and also a lot of our industry are being affected. There is no job; everybody gets laid off, and things like that. Yeah, so it. It gets me thinking what about the future that we're about to come like how it gets me thinking about our industry's future am I gonna be able to keep this job am I gonna be able to keep this career for another 10 years for example right because all of these things that's happening just just running through my mind like uh, I gotta find another source of income or like I gotta find another source of career if I want to keep doing this and nowadays it's all about the attention economy if you guys know about that attention economy a lot of people are on YouTube you know we were watching YouTube all day long a lot of movies nowadays they are showing on YouTube a lot of clips a lot of uh, you know uh, personal videos so it's the rise of YouTube right and I feel like if you're not in them you're gonna be fell off the bandwagon because you're not on a train you're not on the YouTube train so that's another reason why I want to become a youtuber is because um, my career just sort of like hitting some plateau uh, I'm not sure about the industry I'm not sure about the future anymore so it, it gets really hard for me I mean I still do love movies and I want to keep this career as, as long as possible uh, if I'm able to but that realization just hits me really hard how uh, what if someday it all ends what if someday there are no more movies being made there are no more you know uh, companies hiring people because everybody moves on everybody they they, uh, they become a youtuber for example right they just reviewing stuff and then they do a lot of stupid shit things like that so yeah um, so it becoming a youtuber uh, is not 
always easy I didn't know like if my YouTube is going to blow up or if I'm going to have subscribers any viewers things like that I don't really care about that I just wanna uh, I just wanna uh, put out my ideas I just wanna share with you guys basically what I thought you know what's in my mind and I just want to make it light it's not something serious or uh, or anything like that I just want to talk about my hobbies my movies that I love to watch books that I love to read and also uh, a lot of videos that I think is helpful because I'm, I'm really into that personal development I'm really into that you know growth mindset so I, I read I love reading things like that and I want to share to you guys also about those kind of lifestyle the, that kind of uh, quotes that really resonates with me that I would really want to share with you because it helps me and I hope it can help you guys too um, yeah so it's it's not always easy uh, you know YouTube I don't know how to shoot a video but then I learn I have to learn through watching a lot of youtuber of course you have to do your research if you want to become a great youtuber you have to do your research like who who is the best youtuber out there like Gary V for example right Casey Neistat or something like that uh, so those are the people that really inspires me to open up the YouTube channel uh, Joe Rogan experience I mean Joe Rogan who doesn't listen to his podcast <laughs> so those people really shaped me uh, to become who I am right now I really just really want to um, put whatever is in my mind and I hope you guys won't get offended if I said something wrong or if uh, something just doesn't resonate with you or against your belief against the idea in your head and things like that it's because I just wanna uh, you know be be real and I just want to be uh, spontaneous and I don't want to be scripted or anything like that I don't want to be a fake person so everything has to be authentic it comes from within me uh, it comes from my heart and this is the start of the journey for me uh, in YouTube uh, so I hope I can keep growing my channel I hope I can keep getting you know more viewers so you guys can keep listening to me and I will keep sharing my my secret, my idea, my lifestyle, everything that comes into my life. I think it's very liberating when you are shooting a video and when you are just, you know, have someone to talk to. Even though I'm talking to a screen, but I know you guys are listening. So I know my viewers are listening to me. And I think that's really, uh, I feel like that's that's really benefit, benefit me from, you know, getting the, uh, the engagement that I did not want it and also this YouTube is giving me a platform to share my idea to share uh, you know, whatever comes into my thought and things like that uh, yeah it's it's a really start uh, of an era for me I hope I can grow this channel even more in the future uh, but overall uh, yeah I hope you guys can also you know, if you're interested in things like this, I hope you guys uh, don't overthink it and just, you know, do it. Brave enough, be brave enough, be brave enough to just do it, just to open your first YouTube account, you know, shoot your first video. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. As an artist, you have to keep creating things that resonates with you. It doesn't matter if it's bad or like people don't really uh, see it or anything like that. But as an artist, it's it's within you, it's your soul to create something. And I found like YouTube is one of the, uh, the thing uh, as a creation tool to, you know, um, really express yourself and things like that. So I really, I'm really glad I found this platform and I'm really excited for the future to come. Hopefully uh, it can grow into this uh, thing. Obviously monetization is going to be the end goal here but then again I just want to be my authentic self and I just want to keep sharing uh, my thoughts and keep sharing my ideas to you guys and things like that so yeah thank you again for listening uh, I'm gonna catch you guys up with a lot more stuff in the future so stay tuned and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys are being notified whenever there's a new video coming up and things like that so yeah with that, thank you again, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.